It's important to get language that isn't commercially mediated, and increasingly we don't have that. It's important to sort of get close to another person's imagination, mm -hmm. um, which language can lead us to, and to spend time in this really distilled and intimate way that a book can bring, especially a novel. Um, and it's important just for expanding your horizons and learning things. It's as simple as that. Um, both emotional knowledge and just knowledge of the world. Um, you know, I, I sometimes think, is reading a book itself a value? I mean, does it, it doesn't matter what book as long as you're reading a book. And, and, and I go either way on that. Sometimes I think, no, it doesn't matter. If it's a bad book, don't read it. It's not valuable because it's a book. Um, it would be better to spend time watching a good movie. <laughs> Um, but there are, but a good book is a, is a value in the way that I said, in terms of the language, the expression uh, of uh, preserving a, a language that, that, is, is, that is communicating both on an emotional and an intellectual level and in service of a mind that is observing the world and telling us something interesting about it. Um, most language that we encounter is trying to sell us something mm -hmm. and that's really unfortunate and it degrades the language and it degrades encounters with language. Um, but fiction writers presumably are not doing that. Although they're out there trying, you know, <laughs> their publishers send them out there to tell you, to, you know, to get them to try to sell their books. but. So there's that commercial problem.